Over here is this is where we did the demo. It was pretty cool. I feel like even though I basically shredded my body to get the demo to work and I probably look like I'm half asleep right now almost, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been. You know, we're just in the thick of it, just building something cool. Uh, and I think at the early stages of it as well, it's, it's the most exciting. My name's Avi and I'm building the world's first wearable AI, Tab. This is Tab. It's a little messy, but we've been building. Yeah, um, quite literally. <laughs> this is actually our, our old OG prototype. Looks a little uh, ridiculous, but... You would wear this around. I would, I would wear this around the city. The next photo, but it really started looking like a bomb. Because <laughs> then I started uh, wearing the battery pack. <laughs> Over the course of a few months, basically turned that into something like that. You can wear this AI that ingests the context of your life so that you don't have to explain that context for the second time. AI is obviously the new paradigm of how we're gonna interact with computers and technology. The way you get mass consumers to adopt it is to just make it easier to use. And that's really like the main thing we're doing. I've been working on Tab for about five months now, right? And you know, I was quite obsessed. This is this is big jam, but these, these are like kind of the, the prompts I would come up with. Things I was trying to work on, where I was trying to have like a feed of your conversations, but then I realized like that's kind of weird. I mean, I'll just go through like note after note. These are all things I should say in the demo, like planning out everything from user experience to the marketing. I mean, ultimately just trying to build something that I wanted to use myself because I know that I'm not that different than the people around me. And if I build something that I want, I'm sure other people around me will want it too. My friend Jason's coming over to record a video. What should I talk to him about? He's curious about Tab. I should focus on unique features such as its personal knowledge base, innovative ideas like the, the prompt suggestions part, the things I should use, anecdotes to emphasize Tab's utility and your daily interactions, all kinds of ideas. And you can just like keep talking to it. Like it's, it's an actual conversation. It's like a thinking buddy. I should emphasize this idea to engage in deep conversations and how it feels like you're having a late night conversation with a friend. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to learn vector embeddings, things like that. I have a vague understanding of how it works. It's very important that if you're running a company, you understand how the technology actually works. So what is ChatGPT doing? <laughs> yeah, great book. I, I feel like I have to ask this, but um, do you think about the Roman Empire a lot? Uh, what makes you say that? <laughs> the Roman Empire, they, they just, they had a vision for the world and they set out and did it. I, I take great inspiration from that. Men used to raise an army and conquer a kingdom. Now you raise capital and conquer a market. I think it attracts the same kind of person. You know, we're, we're here to build the future. People that have pre-ordered a tab and the people that are waitlisting for it are everyone from like Spanish government officials to people with like severe ADHD to people that are like in the video game industry trying to brainstorm ideas, just all kinds of things. I don't really know what industry this is in, what business it's in, or any of these kinds of ideas. I mean, I know that if we just build a good product that people like, everything else will figure itself out. You know, Tab, in my opinion, is very private. You're not actually recording what you quite literally say. It's, it's about what the ideas of what you're saying is. If you think about a conversation like this, we'll extract a whole bunch of entities, so like S3, and then it's like, what actually is S3? It's not like a literal quote from Jason about what S3 is, and even like a recording of that. That's weird, and you don't actually need that at the end of the day. Back in the ancient times, people used to just walk around and think and look at the real world. Now that we have technology, it's, it's very invasive, it's very distracting, but if we can get even better technology than that, but you're still like in the real world, you're still looking at real things, like observing, right? Right? I think that that's that's the real vision of Tab. I've been trying to think for years, like why why do anything at all in the first place? And I feel like I've distilled it down to we're extremely lucky to be human. You might as well make the most of it. Your only blogger to building quite literally anything is your own personal motivation to do it. You have super intelligence in your pocket and you can talk to it about anything you want to learn. If you want to actually push humanity forward, it's one thing to stand on the side of the road with like a sign saying like, oh yeah, we should switch to electric cars. Or you can like build an electric car company and force the industry to have widespread adoption of cars. We're, we're going to be doing a beta for the next like few weeks and then, you know, rolling that out to an actual pre-order edition with like a nice looking chassis, you know, proper power buttons that you don't have to turn on with a toothpick. Tab is applicable to pretty much every industry. I think it's like a fundamental human problem that everyone has throughout the day, trying to keep track of things, trying to have something to talk to. You want to ask it? Sure. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be kind of cool. What's the problem Tab is trying to solve? Why does Avi care about that problem? And what is the next big milestone or goal for Tab? Yeah, so um, 
Tab says, the problem we're trying to solve here is providing the context to your wearable AI. And it says this problem is significant to me because it can help offer clarity to individuals trying to work on their projects. It says Tab's next milestone is the completion of its prototype batch and subsequent distribution among founders, investors, and friends in the AI startup ecosystem. These are our, our next main milestones as well as raising our seed. So why do you need to do this interview with me in the first place? <laughs> Thanks for watching the 12th episode of S3 featuring Tab and Avi. It's crazy to me that such a small team in such a fast amount of time has built a working, like real product. Avi said this in one of the clips, but like every smart person he talks to like has this idea about AI with context. Like how do we get context to AI and understanding about our lives? I never would have thought of the solution of having a wearable that can ingest all of that context for you. Um, but I think it's really cool. I think it's really exciting. And from Apple releasing the Vision Pro to Meta doing more stuff with VR and then stuff like wearables uh, becoming more of the norm. I, like we're stepping into this new age of computing. I'm very excited to see what new applications and use cases are, are developed for the ambient and spatial and wearable computing. Um, I feel like, I don't know, five, 10 years ago, we were promised really exciting wearables and we, we never really quite got anything. And now we're, we're on, I think that the boulder has finally been pushed up the proverbial hill and it's gonna roll down now uh, as we get really exciting ambient and wearable technology. Thank you for watching. Keep on building the future and I'll see you next week.